Hey guys, it's Lake WI44. I'm going to show you guys how to repair your singing fish or big mouth billy bass. And this is a very common issue with most singing fish, so pay attention closely. I'm looking, what you're looking at right now is the head motor. This is the part that makes the head swing out. Now the motor is going to be sitting in this little motor holder piece here. It's held together by two small screws, similar to ones that are of this size right here. Now in order to get those screws off, you're going to have to first take out the six screws that are on the back here. Now I've already done that here. So after that, you're going to see these other screws here that are shaped like this. These are what, what mounts the fish to the plaque itself. So what you're going to do is you're going to take, take a screwdriver like this, unscrew these two first, and then work your way across to these two sides here. And then using your hand, I'm going to gently pull it out so you can get at the motor. It'll be a little bit difficult, but I'm sure you guys will be able to do it. Now for the fixing part here. Sometimes on, on this motor here, there sits a smaller gear. It's about this size. It's a eight tooth gear, eight or nine or ten tooth gear. And it gets a little, a little tiny crack in it. And that causes it to slide off the shaft and sometimes will fall down into the mechanism in, the, in that little hole there see where all the gears are at in there so you will need to replace this gear and I will provide you guys a link below in the description below of where to buy these gears now a cool guy um, on YouTube showed me how to do this I, I have already ordered the gears I'm just waiting for them to arrive now but there's a little, a little tiny, tiny crack in there you can see like a, a little black line. Now these will actually sit in the middle of the of the uh, motor shaft right here because it's a longer piece. But for motors though that, that are shorter, like this one for example, if you look at these side by side, you can tell that one, one of them is longer than the other one. Just by a couple of inches, but this one on the smaller ones, the motor gear will be sitting on the end, whereas this one will be sitting in the middle. It just depends on your fish. Now, sometimes the gear will get very old and it will actually fall down into the access mechanism here. And in that case, you're going to have to take the whole fish apart to get at this head mechanism. That's a whole different, requires a whole different technique. So this is, is what the head motor is like though. This little gear here will sit on top of here. Hang on, it's going to be kind of hard to do this here at the same time. Let's see if I can do this here. It was set on like this normally, but you you will hear like a motor noise whenever the head is supposed to come up. But as you can see here though, this piece is this gear is broken. It's what you're gonna want to do is throw this one away and replace it with the new gears if you decide to order them. Now you'll have to count the teeth on how many gears there are because some of these will have eight, eight teeth, nine teeth, or ten teeth. This one just happens to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine teeth on it. So you count, you count each side here. But yeah, this one will sit in the middle like that. So exactly in the middle of the shaft. And then you're gonna just um, simply reverse the steps that you did to take the motor piece out. Now be careful though not to pull any wires, otherwise you'll have to re-solder those back on. So here's the rest of the fish, just as a little bonus extra. That's, this right here is where the button is, so whenever you push the button, this will go straight across here, straight to the circuit board to activate the fish. Now the fish makes the noise through this little speaker here. It's an 8 ohms, 0 0.5 watt speaker. Not very powerful. And the circuit board controls the movements of the fish, see? These are different colored wires here. These go, go, go to different parts of the fish. Those will go down into there. Sometimes there's a, a, a motor piece. There's a motor here for the tail. 
the motor for the head, which is right here, and the mouth motor is right behind the gills. Now, I would not recommend ripping it open, as this will make it look bad after a while, because then you'll have a bunch of guts, and you'll have to sew it back together, but that is how you repair your singing fish. This is the most common problem with billy basses. So I hope I found this video has been of help to you. Like this video and subscribe to me.